Zion, your third birth chant is Atayu Kol Le'avdecha, which means loosely, let everyone who yearns come to serve you. V'yitnu lecha, and we crown you, we give you Keter Amlucha, the crown of kingship. And it's about the personal face of essence. It's about not the divine as the great meshwork, the great system of the cosmos, which is God in the third person. It's the it of the divine, the divine that appears as the laws of physics and chemistry and all of the great interlocking systems of knowing and dharma. Dharma, right, a Sanskrit word for knowing. Or Torah, right, the great knowings of psychology and spirituality. Right, chemistry, biology, physics. Right, that's God in the third person. God in the first person, right, is the divine that lives in me, as me, and through me. It's my true self in which I'm one with the all. It's the unique expression of my true self, my unique self. Right, the Buddhists would call it right, my realization of my Buddha nature. That's God in the first person. And then there's God in the second person, which is I and thou. It's me in conversation with you, the divine in you, and me in conversation with the great divine, which is the personal face of infinite being. It's not different than the Buddha or the Tatvam Ase, the realization that I am the divine. Thou art that. It's not different than God in the first person that lives in me, as me, and through me. It's not different than the great laws of quantum mechanics and physics. It's not different than God in the first and third person. It's the personal face of the divine. It's, if you will, the holy trinity of world spirituality. God in the first person, God in the second person, God in the third person, a world spirituality based on integral principles. And so this birth chant, it is the personal face of the divine. It's the falling in love with God, Zion. It's knowing that God knows your name. Yes, the God you don't believe in doesn't exist. Yes, the divine is far greater than the cosmic vending machine, right? the Santa Claus God in the sky right? that you worship right? to make sure that you're safe. And at the same time, God's more than merely personal, but the divine's not less than personal. The divine is, as my friend Ken Wilber likes to say, personal plus, not personal minus. Right? The way we understand this in a realization, the way I realize this, the way the great traditions realize this, Sufism, Realize this deeply, Rumi and Hafez. Hebrew Kabbalah, your native tradition, is based on this realization. Right? The realization of God in the second person, that actually the divine is holding me in every second, knows my name, needs my service, and I am God's desired designated partner. And there's something that I can do in serving God through my unique self that no one else in the world can do but me. So that's this chant, your third birth chant. Oh, <speaking in Hebrew> Falling in love with the divine, radical devotion. Hey, <laughs> 
forth with ecstasy. So it is. <laughs> 